Researchers at the Academy of Natural Sciences of Drexel University were very surprised to find a butterfly that emerged from its cr chrysalis uh, exhibiting both male and female uh, characteristics. Let's take a look at what they actually found. So this specimen on one side has the markings, uh, the bright colorful markings of a male butterfly and the other side more of the drab female markings. How did this happen? Is this, is this a rare occurrence? It is so rare and it, every time you see it, it is just absolutely spectacular. And they're actually, if you go to certain universities, they will have drawers full of these examples because they are so rare. They want to collect them. They want to be able to you know, let people look at them and study them. And basically the way this thing works is very, very early on in development when it's still in that egg, the split of the cells goes a little bit wrong. Some of the sex chromosomes end up too much on this side, too little on that side, and then as it develops in this bilateral symmetry, where it should be the same on the right, on the left, this one is kind of more male, this one is more female, and then it just grows into that. And a lot of times they will die during that process, but sometimes they come out and it is spectacular. It's beautiful. So a lot of the times when we see the split between um, the sex, it's, it's more of a mosaic. Like It'll exhibit some features that are male and some that are female, but this was more lateral. Yeah, exactly. So it had to happen at a very precise time during its development when things were just beginning to take one side over the other. But yeah, sometimes you get this mosaic pattern, it's called, where you will get these male or female characters throughout, and those are beautiful in their own right too because it's a little bit more random, but this one is just split. And these are things that I know, uh, I study butterflies a lot, and I've you been collecting them. I'm an entomologist, and I've been collecting butterflies for 20 years now. And I know some people who have found these things in the field, I never have. So when I see these pictures, I'm like, that is beautiful, but it makes me angry because I want to see it for myself. Would this uh, butterfly or any other kind of animal experience uh, severe health problems, or would it have lived a basically normal life? You know, to say health problems, it's, it's unsure. I, I think there would be some, uh, some kind of miscues going on within it. It probably would fly a little bit funny, too. The female's wings oh. are a little bit bigger than the male. So there's all these things that it probably, I mean, it, it couldn't reproduce for one thing because it's got both parts going on and not mm -hmm. just dedicated to one. So there could be issues, which is why well, I think it was a good thing. They just collected it, used it as an example to spread a little butterfly. It was butterfly mounted right life. away. Yes. This specimen is dead. Yeah, this was actually a butterfly that hatched in the museum, mm -hmm. and then they knew what a special find they had, so they preserved it immediately instead of letting it go into their live butterfly exhibit. And Jason, these types of splits don't just happen with butterflies. You were telling me yeah. about something crazy. Say something yeah, crazy. so there's this really cool story. I remember um, Ed Young wrote a, a, a post about this in like 2010 about a gonandromorph chicken. Um, so, so chickens like butterflies. The thing about mammals like us is we are either male or female, and that's dictated by our hormones and whether we have testicles or ovaries. Um, but for some animals, like some birds and butterflies and some other kinds of critters, um, every every cell in their body is either male or female. And usually all the cells are the same or enough of them are the same. Mm -hmm. But every once in a while you get these rare animals like this butterfly, like these chickens. And if you look at a picture of this chicken, it is like a rooster on one half and like a broiler fryer on the other. It's the coolest thing ever. Um, and it's because of the same sort of a process where um, some of the cells get the instructions to become female and some of the cells get the instructions to become male. Um, and what happened to that chicken? It, uh, it got studied, it got researched. And got talked about. It's still famous to this day. That chicken, it was killed, right? Uh, I actually it. don't know. Um, <laughs> I assume so, but I, I don't know. What can we learn from studying these specimens? I think we can learn a lot about sort of just the crazy ways in which life on our planet can exist. Mm -hmm. um, the, the really interesting ways in which sex is determined in other kinds of animals. You know, we tend to think that other animals are like us. Um, and in some ways, other animals are very much like us, but in a lot of ways, uh, you know, obviously they're not. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's impossible for a human to, to, to be a ganandromorph the way that it's possible for a chicken or a butterfly to be. That's interesting. It, it, it really teaches us about the complexity of development and how many things can go wrong during that and how much of a miracle it is that anything could possibly exist this complex because there are so many steps, but we're all well evolved and those things get weeded out pretty early on because, you know, obviously it can't reproduce. But it's, uh, yeah, I mean, that sex determination, as Jason was saying, it's very different. For us, we're kind of used to what we're taught with, like, the X and the Y chromosome, but with a lot of other animals, it's a lot more complex than that. There can be environmental factors, like even the temperature can determine it. Sometimes 
Um, there's this uh, parasite that can determine sex in some insects. All sorts of things get weird when it comes to other species. So anytime you see an example like this, it's just a good teaching opportunity just to say, hey, things are weird out there. Let's take a look at them. Sometimes shit's weird and we should learn about it. What do you think, audience? Let us know below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe.